Welcome to episode 2 of my Toronto Chronicles. My dad and I explored the depths of Toronto where we tried new restaurants, explored the city, went to an art show, and more. The drive to our first stop felt so cinematic with how gloomy it was out, but we got to admire the busy city life, all the graffiti, and the known buildings of Toronto. We stopped to grab lunch from this known spot I saw all over social media called The Morning After. They're known for their margarita towers, crazy themed lattes, and their pancakes. The whole place was just the perfect vibe. Very aesthetic and overall just a really fun environment. For our order, my dad got the steak eggs benedict and I got this Montreal style breakfast bowl called the wreckage. For drinks, my dad tried one of their popular margaritas and I got an iced espresso with oat milk but they brought it out hot for the first time which they fixed. Ryan Little. <laughs> This is insane. I really, really enjoyed my meal, and the coffee was probably one of the best that I've ever had, which if you know me, that's a major big compliment. Oh my god, that is so good! Sadly, my dad wasn't the biggest fan, but he said it was still enjoyable, and I think he liked mine better than his, to be honest. <laughs> I also recommend you make a reservation before coming here considering it was so busy and we had to wait about 20-ish minutes for a table. Driving downtown Toronto is probably one of my favorite things to do because you get to pass by all the cute shops and streets. Along with that, getting to see the beautiful artwork and graffiti that paint the streets of Toronto is just so refreshing and lovely to see the creativity. We actually ran into a little parking situation where my dad's car was too tall for the underground parking lot, so that was a fun little adventure doing trial and error to see what parking garage we could park in. Can you fit down here? I hope so. Uh, you're not gonna make that. Problems with driving a G-Wagon. Who would have thought this would ever be your problem? Do you remember where the car is? Oh yeah, that would definitely be a good idea. It doesn't really have any numbers or anything on it though. <laughs> How do we know what one? <laughs> How big those buildings are. The art show that we went to go see was held at Brookfield Place, which was an absolutely breathtaking and unreal building.
excited. The art show that we went to was a pop-up show that's located on Bay Street in Toronto, featuring Davina Daly, who is a very known artist. His work creates an environment with feelings of voyaging and traveling. It includes over 100 original pieces of prints along with a few contemporary pieces inspired by him, which was created by a few Canadian artists. of Dante. We were able to walk through and witness three imaginary worlds, hell, purgatory, and heaven. We got to walk into it and experience Dali's explosive imagination and influence of Dante's literary masterpieces. Each room featured different prints, depending on the theme, along with that different lights, music. It really gave the whole experience. So you start to see he starts making stuff more abstract and elongated. Probably one of my favorite rooms that we visited. The shadows that got draped on the wall looked so cool and definitely different and it definitely matched the theme of this whole room in general. Along with that, each room was so different than the last and it really separated the worlds that he brought us in perfectly and it really outlined what he was trying to express throughout his art. This was just an unreal experience. The detail and signature features of his worlds were incredible and this was definitely an experience of a lifetime. I highly recommend you check out this pop-up if you are in the Toronto area. You guys, I'm picking up my dress. I'm giving you guys a dress reveal. My prom dress came in, I ordered it online, and this is the reveal. I'm trying it on for the first time and I'm so nervous, but I'm so excited.
Oh my gosh, I love it, guys. It's literally everything. It was well worth waiting to find a good dress. Because I can tell you, it's so pretty. And that is the end of episode two of Toronto Chronicles. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for episode three. The G Wagon! How does it feel to drive a G Wagon? Oh my god. <laughs> I just like destroyed the roof of my mouth. It's gonna hit, it's gonna hit, it's gonna hit. It's like gonna hit. I promise you it's gonna hit. <laughs> okay, wait, I need to get a big thumbnail right here. You can be dizzy. I showed you and you just looked <laughs> miserable. Thanks, fam.